Oh, that tasted bad. Ew. We were talking about uh, form and how she needs to be sitting on the bike. And she had thought that she didn't, like she was crushing me by sitting up close. And so we come into one of the switchbacks and I hit the brakes and she slides forward and slams me into the gas tank and well, you can figure how much that hurt. Um, this bike's pretty loud. We were going pretty fast, making a lot of noise. And she heard me yell <laughs> in pain. And so we slowed it down going through that corner and I told her, I said, D and she started to back up. And I said, no, 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 stay there. So you want to be right up against me because it gets our center of gravity close enough it basically turns us into one person and I it's just like I weigh a lot more you know I said just keep looking over my shoulder whenever like to the inside of the turn you know you're doing okay with that but stop scooting back I said if you scoot back you turn into luggage that isn't tied down properly it's like it, it jostles the bike a bit and you're bouncing off of me and it makes it easier for her to slide off if she's sitting way back there because she doesn't have as good a grip on me. And from pretty much that moment on, she did really good at doing just that. And it was it's gravy ever since then, even though we did kind of bottom the bike out going through the gravity cavity. Hopefully we didn't bend anything, but uh, the center stand slapped the ground pretty good coming through there. Oh, look at that ugly ass. What the fuck is that? Damn. I wonder how far we have to go. We're going down to Bald River Falls, uh, as far as I'm aware. idea how much further it is because I didn't I've got the routes programmed into my GPS but I didn't start the route there's almost as many Harleys in this group as there are us I ain't waving to no damn dude on a bicycle bicycles don't belong in this fucking road I gotta say there's a fair number of new people here not new riders but new like haven't met them yet like Chuck and uh, the two random guys up front Aaron and Weldon um, one of them is related to CBR XX Alex the other one is uh, somebody's friend I think I think it's just a buddy I don't even know who's. <laughs> I just realized that. I have no idea who, where this guy came from. Uh, they're cool as shit. And then, let's see, I got Chuck. Uh, Lark Zero hasn't hadn't met him before. Ambush hadn't met him before. But anyway, it's relatively funny how, you know, I haven't met these guys. But yet when they pull up, you know, we're all sitting around drinking beer and one huge ass mass of people and they come walking up and they just take one look at somebody and nine times out of 10, they know who they are. You know, there were one or two people that didn't know somebody else or whatever. And that's, you know, we don't, not everybody watches everybody. So that's kind of expected, but, uh, I just thought it was really awesome how that worked out and it's like everybody come walking up to me and knows exactly who I am. It's like okay that, that's uh, uh, borderline creepy. But whatever. It's, it's all good right? And I kept hearing my damn name. I think they were telling people that 
we'd have like random folk come up from the uh, hotel and start chatting. And I think they were talking about why we're here and like what we do. And then they're mentioning that this gathering was effectively my idea. So they kept saying that, you know, and, and probably something else talking about where people are from. Somebody, there was a group that, uh, well, not a group, but like two or three guys that were up here from Al, from uh, Pennsylvania. And they were like, well, where are you guys from? And we just kind of looked up and went, pick a state between here and Colorado, man. It's, it, we got plates from everywhere. It's insane. It's awesome, too. Let's see, one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bikes with 17 people. I had been saying there were going to be about 20, but we had four, maybe five that couldn't go at the last minute or whatever. They didn't show up. We would have had 22 people here. Now you tell me that's not awesome, man. I don't care where you live. Arizona, Wisconsin, California, whatever. You need to come out here. Next year, we'll be here. First week of August, I'll almost guarantee it. It's worth every ounce of it. Even if you have to fly and rent a bike, rent a damn SD 1300 if you have the skills and experience to ride it. Throw your bike on a trailer and drive. Rent a fucking U-Haul. Or if you want to be hardcore, earn your, your iron butt trophy and ride that bitch. I'm thinking about riding out next year. I might change the gearing the other way from stock. Get better highway performance. Like lower RPM, 70 miles an hour. A little bit better gas mileage too. And then just ride all the way out here. But I don't know, because I couldn't do that non-stop. I don't even think I'd be wanting to do it in one day, or in two days. One day would be non-stop. Doing it in two days is 650 to 700 miles a day. Oh yeah, and I think I just proved that if you know what you're doing, you can shift in, in the corners. Uh, I've heard a number of people saying you can't. Jesus, Fud. You have to watch the guy in front of you, man. You don't want to focus on him, but you've got to concentrate on him a little bit. 